All right, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be doing something that I don't normally do. I'm gonna be gonna go spray some acres. Got a spray trailer here. Uh, my brother was spraying, but he's he was spraying yesterday. He got he got called in to do something else at the moment, so now I'm gonna spray for him. There should still be some chemical left in here. Yeah, there's about 500 gallons left in there, so. I'm gonna spray this out. This is this is just Roundup. We're we're trying to kill off all the voluntary peanuts from last year, to where voluntary peanuts don't take up all the moisture and water for from our cotton. So I'm gonna go spray some voluntary peanuts. Got 500 acres. I'm gonna come back here and fill up some more. Yeah, this should this should be fun. Throwing in what sprayer it is. We got a. R4038. This sprayer is what a couple years old already. We've had it for a little while. It has like the new style handle and everything, which is nice. But yeah. And for some reason. My phone is not having any internet service right now. I don't know what the deal is or whatever. And I want to move this pivot, so I, uh, now I just have to come here to the pivot. And I have to actually do it manually. So, now I gotta wait for the pivot. But I think I'm gonna go spray that field first. There's a small six or three tower in the middle. Might spray that one. But I think I'm just gonna start on that field over there. Because the wind's blowing in the right direction. I want the wind to be blowing more north, I guess. It looks like it's kind of blowing from southwest. Also, it's headed northeast. So it looks like... Yeah, it looks like we're good. Yeah, it's kind of blowing that way. So we should be good because we have a field of peanuts on that next circle over there. And I want to kill all the voluntary peanuts on this field. As you can tell there's quite a few there's a peanut growing right here where there's cotton right beside it we don't really want this guy and i do not want to spray i do not want to kill our peanuts that we planted on that next circle so if the wind's blowing this way then we're golden so i'm gonna start spraying now while the wind is right I'm just gonna go to that next field and start there Yeah, I love it. Going around the fields, but it's smooth. Casually, 35 miles an hour. Which this is actually my turn off right here. Well, what we're gonna do now, we planted the cotton in turn rows. So I'm here by the pivot now. I'm gonna do one pass all the way on the edge of the circle and circle track. Well, I'm just gonna steer by myself. And then I'll move the pivot this way, or then after one pass on the edge of the field, then I'll make my way straight rows, and then I can actually turn around on the field, so we, I guess you could say we have turn rows. So, that'll make it pretty, it makes it pretty easy for spraying. I sprayed actually a while back. I don't spray very often, but I sprayed a while back. I sprayed some residual out on our field. So, I usually don't spray, but I got the hang of it pretty quickly. So, it's actually going to unfold here now. Hundred and twenty foot boom. a couple things on this screen here first I gotta change my tower to actually have signal so we'll see if that gives me signal I think do believe that's the right tower for this area so it's successful I want to see that signal yep send receive yep okay so it's about three miles away from me perfect where's the there. 
accuracy GPS so email yep we're good got service now I just need GPS to be on which I'm not gonna use that at first now I'm gonna try to see if I can turn this pivot on with my phone but for some reason yeah it's no service and I do not know why but oh well guess I'll have to manually go to the pivot again and we're spraying we're spraying about 18 miles an hour in the edge of the circle first got about 85 psi so we're not running too high pressure we also don't need too high pressure for this we don't want it to be misting too much anyway Boom, getting a little low into the ground over there. But we're good. It's also well coming up right here. I'm just gonna lift up my boom, go straight over it, go back down. Yeah, we're good. And I also got the pivot here. And while I'm here, since I still don't have phone service for whatever reason, I'm just going to shut that off right there. And I'm going to move this pivot out of the way too. I don't know why there's no phone service today, but apparently other people are, have been having the same issue. But, see your rate. I'm gonna put it on 100%. Enter. Put it on reverse. Perfect. All right, let's get back to spraying. Looks like even the iPad is having a hard time keeping up. Looks like that also doesn't have as much signal, as much internet service, so. Guess it's not just my phone. It still sucks though. Another well right there that I gotta watch out for on the way that way. But I'll worry about that next pass. Also doing about eight gallons to the acre. So, kind of on a lower rate, but. It's only round up. It's not too big of a deal. Out of chemical. So now we're folding up and then uh, gonna head back to the shop. Loading up the roundup. It's coming from that channel right there. Hose, the pump, pump into there. All right, got a full tank again. Just going to fill it up. Yep, uh, that's the right. Fill up my tank, or just on the screen it is. And then uh, let's get back to spraying. Back to it. You know, I like spraying eight gallons an acre because when you look at the little screen there, it says 260 acres an hour. So because I don't have to fill up as often, I can cover plenty of acres before I have to fill up. If I didn't, if I never had to fill up, I could do 260 acres an hour. Uh, it looks kind of cool knowing you could do that if you didn't have to fill up that often. But, uh, just a little, little fun fact, I thought it was cool. 260 acres an hour, you don't see that often.
That's another thousand gallons empty. All right, I'm gonna put spraying on hold for just a little bit. Uh, my brother's gonna be back here in a few minutes. Uh, I'd say 10, 15 minutes, he's gonna be back here. So I'm gonna hop into my truck, hook on a nursing tank. While the nursing tank is filling up with fertilizer, I'm gonna try to also fill up the sprayer with Roundup and all that chemical, filling up both things at once. Cause I gotta do some other things with the fertilizer. My brother cuts to come back and finish spraying for me. Fill up the sprayer. All right, my brother showed up, so now he's gonna tend to that. I can continue tending to this. I got about 750 gallons, need a little bit more. And then I right away need the four wheeler and four wheeler trailer, so we have a ball on the back here. So I'm just gonna put the trailer, hook it up to here, and load up the four wheeler while I'm at it. Well, now I got myself a train. Yep. Turned on three more pivots with fertilizer, but I just thought I'd figured I figured I'd include that little bit of information into this video. Uh, mainly, this video was just about me spraying because uh, I haven't been spraying in a while, and now I can finally spray again. It was kind of fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, I wouldn't mind to do it again, but you know, there's I usually don't get around to it. Usually, there's always other guys that end up doing the spraying. My brother and my cousin usually do all the all the spraying. They're usually the sprayer guys. But after I did those couple acres, I turned on three more pivots. So it was starting to fertilize more peanuts again. So now all of our fields with peanuts are now watering. And we have this crazy 109 degree weather. Oh, I hit the volume up. Anyways, I don't think that's accurate. I think it's more like 102. My truck likes to show 109. I think it's like 102, maybe 105. But we're watering our fields now. We're trying to keep cool down the peanuts a little bit. Uh, the cotton, they're all going to start rooting down like crazy. This heat is going to want them to push down, get more moisture, which well, that's gonna be really good to have that root system. Uh, on one field, we're watering the peanuts with the fertilizer. Uh, half of it's peanuts, half of it's cotton. Whenever it gets to the other half, we're just gonna continue it let, it, let it go around, water the cotton too. So we will be doing that. But as for now, thanks y'all for watching and I'll see y'all guys in the next one.